Matty, coming into today's game, obviously yourself and the players knew just how big of a game it was, given Ashton were just two places above you, two points above you. How disappointed are you after that? Uh, extremely disappointed. Um, we spoke about it before the game, that the win today put us in a, in a good position. Um, and I think just... I think everything that could have went wrong today went wrong. Um, they were better in every department, and that's and even more so sort of effort, commitment, mm. so much more from them, and that was a disappointing thing for us as a management team. The lack of effort and just not not winning second balls, headers, you know, just no thought to our play. Do you know what I mean? It's just it wasn't good enough today in in every area, and there's no hiding away from that fact. So why do you feel the lads? didn't turn home a performance that that warranted um, that warranted <coughs> what you wanted um, given that there was a huge three points on the line to do it's tough to, to pinpoint it really but um, that's what disappoints, disappoints me the most really um, just you would have thought the lads would have been up, bang up for that game and, 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 and really desperate for the three points to go and put us in a sort of springboard us into a, a much better position um, for the t- against a team that's that's in and around us. Um, so you'd expect a given in that game would be your your desire, your commitment. You know, you're willing to to work hard for the team. Didn't have any of that today. Um, so disjointed at times. It was it was unreal. Uh, so it's just a just a tough one to take. I think probably the one, <laughs> if there is a positive you can take from the game, the one positive is Adam Bartlett turned home a, a world-class performance. Um, several saves in the first half and also the second half to that really kept the score down. Yeah, some unbelievable saves, um, and we expect that from him. It happens. Hold me to that event. It happens. It happens time and time again. Uh, it's over the last couple of weeks. He's pulled us out of, you know, situations where it can become a little bit embarrassing. Um, which again is tough for me to say that because I shouldn't be in that position in the first place for him to have to make that many saves. Um, but that's what you get from Bart. He's a top-class goalkeeper. He has been for a number of I mean, years and years, ever since I've known him and played with him. Um, so you know what you're getting when, you, when, when he plays in goal for us. It's just we need to protect him better. Why, why does it keep happening though? Like why, why do the lads keep turning home performances like this when they are, <clears> I think, third bottom in the table when, the, when they need the points? I mean, it's hard for you to answer that, but are they hurting in there? Well, I hope so. Uh, certainly, certainly, we, we, what we said to them after the game, you would like to think so, because if not, then they're not the players for this football club. Um, and we need to go and find players that, that are going to fight for the badge and, and, and put in performances week in, week out, where it might not be the greatest quality, but you know what you, you know you're going to get that mm-hmm. that work rate from them. That you know that you can go and get a nick a, a, a game one nil. Um, which is not getting at the moment and we said there it gets to a point where you can only keep saying the same things to, so many times and then it, it gets to a point where you say listen might have to move on and find somewhere else if it's not going to improve and that's the harsh reality of it obviously 2019 that's the final game of 2019 um, you, you start your 2020 with a home game against Newton Aircliff, a, a tough opposition um, who you've already beaten this season the first game of the season what are you wanting to see from this group now, and what what's going to happen? Do you do you need to bring players in? Do you need to evaluate the squad? We certainly need to bring players in, and that's obviously been apparent for a couple a couple of weeks now. We need to strengthen in a few areas. Um, you know, we're going to look to do that. Uh, but what I want to see from the players already, yeah, next game is a massive massive reaction, um, a reaction that says they want to be at the football club and they want to they want to pull us out of this dogfight and go in climb the table because I'm not seeing enough of that in the minute um, and it has to change or else it's, things aren't going to get better for the club 